I uh, war you. It's Travson here, and welcome back to our adventures with Elsent the Worgen Hunter. Today we are back in Angoro at the Mossy Pile. We got some new quests to check out. Are you interested in making some money? Gromash the Glutinous. Hey, I know we've been looking at the wrong tar creatures. Gramax once told me about a larger than normal tar creature that he ran into. It lurks around the tar pit. Far to the east of here, south of Fungal Rock. I'll bet that the bigger these creatures get, the stickier they get. We'll make some money yet, Elsent. Don't forget the scrap. Need Yo. Okay, the Have Apes of Ungoro. Remember this quest. There's plenty of money to be had here in Ungoro. You just need to know where to look. Apes may be common here in Ungoro, but they're much rarer up north. In Everlook, a gorilla hide fetches 10 times what you'll get for it down here. I'm not going to send you all the way up to Winter Spring. That'd be irresponsible, but I could use your help actually obtaining some hides. You'll find gorillas at Fungal Rock to the northeast near a waterfall. Don't forget to check inside Keep the cave. Welcome. And we got chasing me a no one. Unfortunately, something happened to one of my greatest inventions. You've seen mechanical squirrels, yes? Well, to get closer to the apes of Ungoro Crater, I created a mechanical ape to blend in with their kind. I call her Amy01. She has been studying the local wildlife at Funko Rock for several months, but she should have returned by now. I fear the worst for her. Can you help me find her? See you soon. All right, so I think we got all the quests here. So let's make our way to the northeast and we'll fight some apes. Hope you guys are doing well today. Doing pretty good. Season 5 of uh, Diablo 4 came out today. And supposedly it's getting better from what I've heard. I don't know if I'll check it out. The theme is Return to Hell. I think I'm going to wait until the next expansion. I want to check out the story. That's, that's mostly what I'm interested in. I want to see what happens with Nyrell. She has uh, Mephisto in, in a soul stone. She's carrying him to a, a new land. I think she's going west. And who knows what will happen, guys. I hope we get to see Diablo and Bale eventually. That would be cool. It's one thing I I didn't like about 3 is that there was only Diablo and 3 like out of the prime evils like we didn't get to, to like fight against Mephisto or Bale. But they did introduce Malthael, which was pretty cool. I thought he was an awesome character. He was uh, the aspect of wisdom. And then he turned into uh, the Archangel of Death. Here's a Devil Sword, guys. I wonder if we can fight him. Oh, damn it. I just missed my pet. Oh, we'll just kill him. I want to see what type of skin we if we get a, a devil sword skin from him. Actually, if we see one again. We'll make sure we try to. Yeah, we got devil sword leather. Nice. That's cool. And they're worth nine gold each. Four, four to nine gold each. And with this leather, you can make uh, the devil sword set. If you're a leather worker. That's cool that they still have that. I'll try to tame them after this. I have to dismiss my pet, though, if we want to do that. I haven't tamed a pet in so long. <laughs> we, will, we will get a new one in TBC. I'll make sure of it. And that will be soon. 
All right, the ro this robotic gorilla appears to be damaged, chasing me, chasing Amy 01. Amy lies motionless before you. No power seems to be running through her components. Suddenly, the robotic gorilla's eyes light up and it begins to speak. Operational capacity less than 5% accidentally punctured oil reserve. Use coconut milk rock. Save me. Save Amy 01. Amy closes her eyes. Pretty sure Amy 01 has asked you to obtain the Angoral coconut. Crack it on the near on the rock nearby and give her the high viscosity of coconut milk. Okay, so did we get the coconut? I don't know. Probably not. I think we have to go get it. Do we have to get the sticky turn? Yeah, like Gromosh the god misses down there. I think we'll fight him first. Oh, we'll get, get this gorilla pelts. Is that the coconut over there? There we go. And I think, yeah, the Diablo 4 expansion comes out this year. It's, it's coming out, I think, in October. I'm actually looking forward to that more than the War Within. I think it's just because I, I think the Diablo 4 story is a little cooler than the current WoW, WoW story. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see what they do with it. They got Metzen working on it now, right? So it should be good. It should get better. I just think the I think World of Warcraft needs to do what Diablo 4 did and the story needs to get a little bit more dark and that's what uh, D4 did they made the game just a little like darker more like Diablo 2 so where the heck is this uh... oh there he is Gorm Gormash Make our way over there. Try to pull him to us. Oh, we're missing. What was this guy? Fifty six? Fifty four? Did we get the unbelievably sticky tar? I think we have to yeah, use this on him or something. And we have to carve it off. Back to the gorillas. Because the WoW story now kind of has like a PG-13 or cartoon vibe to it. That's how I think the it's changed quite a bit. Mm. 
And I think they tried to go back to more of a, a dark dial. They did that in Warlords of Draenor. And then the, the sad thing is Warlords of Draenor didn't do well. So that I guess since it didn't do well, they decided to, uh, I guess, change the, the style of the storytelling. Because I believe Warlords of Draenor is considered to be the worst expansion. Some people say Battle for Azeroth. I kind of like Battle for Azeroth. I think Shadowlands is probably one of them as well. The Mighty Uka. Looking around, you see bits of red fur laying around this part of the cave. It appears to match the consistency of gorilla fur. Based on your conversations with Gremix, you know that he would almost certainly be interested in a red gorilla hide if you were to obtain one. All right, let's do this. And I believe we start unlocking TBC dungeons at 59. I want to check. I probably want to go to, T to pick through the portal at 58, but I'm going to try to do as many quests as we can here in Angoro first. Quite a few left to do. Seems like they added more quests in this zone. Alright, so let's get Uka's Pelt. in a different kind of belt. What's up here? There's supposedly red power crystals in here, potentially. There we go. I think we got everything. Still need a couple more red crystals. We'll try to pick that up today. We only need four more. Might be some on the way back. Keep an eye out. There's this big questing hub over here. The evil dragons of Angoro Crater. I'm interested to see what that's all about. So I don't remember that quest. That could be a new one. I want to get uh, TBC flying right away. The thing is, we won't be able to fly until 60. I just thought about that. So we're 58. We'll most likely be on with using our ground mount for a few levels, which is not too bad. 
I'll check out Hellfire Peninsula for a little bit. I had a buddy who called it, uh, used to call it <laughs> Hellfire Venezuela. I'm <laughs> like, what the, f the heck are you talking about? <laughs> That's how he pronounced uh, Peninsula. But I do that too. I mispronounce stuff all the time. You guys probably notice. What up? Be good. The Apes of Ungoro. I never know what style of is in vogue. So I'll want a few different colors. Try to get hides from each different type of gorilla there. Have a good one. Wow, two of each color. You're certainly an overachiever, I'll send my companions, and I could use a worgen like you around here. Ever consider a career in profiteering? Be real. Be good. Red fur. What are you waiting for? Go back and get that red gorilla. I'll pay you double. Have a good one. Wow, look at this one. Not just the color, but the size of it. You cover a torn with this. Here you go, all sent. You've earned this. Stick around. I'm sure we can find something else for you to do. All right, so we got a two-handed axe. It sells for over three gold. We'll take that. Keep it real. And we leveled up. 57, guys. Don't have black arrow yet. What should we take? We don't have much choices here. Survival tactics reduces the chance of your trap spells will be resisted by 2%. Reduces the cooldown of your disengage ability by 2 seconds. That's pretty good. I think we'll take that. We'll take it. We'll take a rank of that. Why not? Let's turn to this other quest here. Hey, how you doing? I'm counting on you, Elson. I'm invested pretty heavily into this tart as glue scheme. And it'd be a shame if you came back empty-handed. Yes, this tar that? is just the stuff. Hey, wait a minute. My hands, I can't seem to get them apart. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Oh, but wait. Super sticky tar remover. That's where the real money is. All right, so we don't really have any gear here that we can wear as a reward. So I guess we'll just take the, the cloth chest well, and sell it. Hey, how you doing? The northern pylon. You've done us a number of favors, El Sent. Now let Gremix do one for you. The attacks on Martial Refuge were terrible, undoubtedly. They came without warning and took no prisoners. They were lucky that so many of them survived. A few weeks ago, I came across a crystal pylon in the cliffs to the northeast of here, east of Marshall's Refuge. I think the pylon and the attacks may be related somehow. Maybe you can investigate. I'm sure someone in Marshall's stand... Be well, gone. thank you. Okay, so the, the northern pylon's just up here. Oh, yeah, we, I forgot about this repair quest. So it's a good thing we're going back up there. I totally forgot about the coconut. All right, so let's head back up. Hopefully we find a red crystal on the way there. seem to be kind of rare. And I haven't seen another devil sword. It's only the, the purple and white one. I remember there being two more. Maybe when we start questing down here and over here, we'll, we'll start to find more of them. I want to find this coconut. A high viscosity coconut milk. I'm going to have to check this quest out again.
crack it on the rock nearby and give her the milk. Where the heck are the coconuts? Did she give us a coconut? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, the rock's over here. My bad, guys. This has to be a sturdy rock. Why is this rock not considered sturdy? Maybe this one will be. You said the rocks nearby. Maybe it's this one. That's the sturdy rock. I had a feeling it should probably be right beside him. I remember there being a like a sparkle over there. There we go. We got ourselves the milk. Amy01 has gone into power save mode. You pour the coconut milk into what appears to be Amy ones oil reserve. You hear the sound of gears whirring and actuators firing. Greetings, I unit Amy01, you organ. Amy's mission is to study the local gorillas was success. Amy has gathered data that Karna needs. Amy01 not returning, though. Amy has a new family now. Here with the gorillas, me stay. Amy01 detaches a small device from her hand and gives it to you. You bring the, back the data to Karna. You tell her what happened. Nice. Right, so looks like Amy is a, is a true gorilla now. Now let's head over here and uh, check out this northern pylon. Just don't remember, like, how are we going to get up here? Just up this way. There we go. All right, let's see what happens here. The crystal pylons of Angoro. I think we read this already. And there we go. Pylon seems to be transmitting data somewhere. Closer inspection of the pylon leads you to find a small table containing yellow, red, and green crystals arranged in what seems to be a specific formation. The large yellow circle of crystals is flanked on either side by a smaller circle of red crystals and another of green crystals. You can carefully take note of what you see, knowing that someone may be very interested in hearing about what you have found. So this, I think this pylon just tells you where the, the like the crystals are, or what the crystals spawn in this location. Not too many reds. There is quite a few greens. All, all the reds are down here, seems like. Nice, right, so let's go turn these in. We'll make our way back to Marshall's Refuge as well. This. She decided to stay fascinating. I'll have a look over this data and find out why. Thank you again, Elson. I really appreciate it. So we have a helmet here, 11 Agi, 15 Samina, 8 Crit. So not as much Agi or Crit as our other helmet, so we won't take that. So I guess we'll take this uh, gr artificial gorilla chest Safe travel. since it sells for the most. And there we go. Looks like we're done here at the mossy pile. So we'll make our way back down to Marshall's Refuge. We'll turn in this uh, quest here about the northern pylon. 
Should have picked up the, the Here Lies the Danga quest. Yeah, we'll get that later. But I think we're going to be going to this questing hub pretty soon. Seems like it's the final hub for the zone. And we should hit uh, probably level 58 from that. And then after that, we'll, we'll make our way over to uh, the Badlands and into the Dark Portal. Start our TPC journey. Looking forward to TBC. It's been a while. Good day to you. Off and away. You think this may be related to the attacks on Marshall's refuge, you Elsa? Have a great day now. All right, there we go. Do you have a one one quest here? Let's have a chat with this guy. Can I help you? Ventures in archaeology. Hey, you want to try my new Dimetrodon dog? Snow, Raptor, Risotto, Pterodax, Tacos. Fine. It's funny how he spelled tacos with a P, silent P. Fine. Oh, I just remembered. I have a friend nearby that might be able to use your assistance. His name is Spark Nilmaner. And he's Marshall Expedition's chief archaeology officer. He's been sent out to Galaka Hot Springs to the west. You'll likely find him on the Springs Western Shore. All righty then. All right, guys. Well, it looks like we're going to be heading over to the Hot Springs, guys, which is the next questing hub in Ungoro Crater. Next episode, we will finish up uh, probably all of Ungoro, I think. So I'm looking forward to that. And then we'll be making our way to TBC. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.